It's Sunday, the 20th of November, 2022. It's the opening day of the FIFA World Cup, where tonight the hosts Qatar take on Ecuador in the opening game. This is a World Cup with a difference. For a start, it's beginning in November. In winter, the slap bang of pretty much every top domestic league in the world season. Not only that, this World Cup has a very dark cloud hanging over its head. From allegations of corruption and bribery from Qatari officials to FIFA, you know what they say, there's no smoke without fire. There's even been comparisons comparing the Qatar World Cup to the infamous Fire Festival. You know, just two days ago, they announced that no alcohol sales were allowed to fans um, on the ground in the stadiums, unless you had a corporate ticket which reaches up to £18,000, which is again, you know, just not caring about the common fan. Not to mention the £180 a night accommodation for the fans, which, you know, you think you get a half-decent hotel, but no, you're going to get a shipping container in the middle of the desert in these weird sort of fan zones. It's all just very strange. More importantly, though, where the biggest criticisms of this World Cup are, are levied at things like workers' rights, especially for migrant workers coming from predominantly poor areas in the world, like the Indian subcontinent, where there's numerous reports that workers are being unpaid or underpaid and overworked with minimal sort of health and safety etiquette where there's reports that there's actually been anywhere between six and a half to 15,000 deaths of migrant workers to build this stadiums and stadium for the World Cup. Qatari officials deny this and they say the figure is more around 40. We'll probably never know but hopefully there's more investigations done on this because it's a serious allegation and not only that the World Cup is meant to have a sort of real good feel factor where people from all different creeds, colours and backgrounds, ethnic backgrounds can come together and unite and um, it's usually a really good time but you know, it's hosting in Qatar where there's been real questions about their sort of rights over women and LGBT groups. You know, we live in a world where them issues are paramount now because we want equality for all people. And in Qatar, same-sex activities can actually land you a seven-year jail sentence with some homosexual acts, you know, punishable by death by stoning under Islamic Sharia law. Even simple suspicions of homosexuality can actually get you detained for up to six months without a fair trial or a proper levied charge, just suspicions. This has led to a real sour taste in the mouth for football fans worldwide, questioning the legitimacy of the tournament, and even if Qatar should be allowed to host it. You know, people are feeling a real lack of excitement for a tournament that's meant to bring joy and happiness, and like I said previously, unite people from all over the globe. So I've come to Manchester today, a very progressive city in the north of England with a strong and historic LGBT community and a diverse population to get some opinions on what they think about the World Cup. Obviously, World Cup's on tonight. What do you think about the World Cup being hosted in Qatar? Uh, yep. <laughs> not very happy. You're not very happy. Yeah. What, what, what's the things that sort of make you unhappy about it? Could have been better choices. Yeah. Well, um, they're not a footballing nation. Yeah. They built, they built eight stadiums that will probably never be used again. Mm -hmm. uh, all the issues with the people who are working on, yeah. on, this, on yeah. actually building yeah. the stadiums. Yeah. And all those people that die building it. Yeah. Yeah. Allegations are six and a half to fifteen thousand. Yeah. Qatari officials say forty. Yeah. Yeah. Not right good. No. Yeah. No. no. Their math isn't very good. No. 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 And, I think I, and I don't think that it should be in a country where not everybody yeah. supports it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah equal it's right. Equal yeah. Equal, yeah. Lack yeah. of equal rights. Lack of equal rights. You should, you should not want to go watch your team because you don't feel safe. Yeah. Going to a country like this. Yeah. The heat's an issue for Yeah. 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 And, and the fact that you know we've had to disrupt the Premier League schedule yeah. Yeah. because yeah. of it yeah. and how many of our players are going to come back injured mm. you know, because yeah. of it and the fact that you know they said that they were going to do certain things and they yeah, promised they really and the reneging on that like the beer situation mm -hmm. we can say yeah. don't drink alcohol and it's just it's just been held all wrong as far as I'm concerned yeah anything else to add or no, we, 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 will, you be, will you be watching it? Oh, yeah. Of course. You'll be watching it. Yeah. It's hard not to. So it is hard not to. It's one of them, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I, don't, I don't think I've got the same enthusiasm that mm. I've had no. yeah. previously. Previous it's like, oh, it's happening. It's just like something on TV, right? Yeah. 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 It's, it's a four-year yeah, event. So. It's like the Olympics. You watch it, even though you might not necessarily be that interested in the sport. Yeah. yeah. I mean, look at the last time, Russia. Mm -hmm. You know, they had it, and now look. Everything that's happened well, since. Oh, it's crazy. Yeah. They got it after, you know, poisoning people yeah, in South Korea right, right. and annexing crime, yeah. Yeah. So. yeah. Okay, um, what do you think about the World Cup being hosted in Qatar, kicking off tonight? Um, 
Yeah. I'm not. I'm not watching it because of that. So I'm usually. Yeah. Um, yeah usually I do. But you usually be a huge yeah, fan. Yeah, usually I follow the World Cup. But you're gonna. Cool, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So. But you're gonna boycott it today. This time. I am, yeah. Yeah. Is that due to sort of LGBT issues and things um, along that yeah, nature? Yeah. For me, for me, it's that. Um, so I'm. I'm gay. Yeah, yeah. Um, It's something that I don't. I, I really. I would feel complicit if I watched it. Mm -hmm. um, in terms of treatment of LGBT people and you know women and. Like, you get six months detainment just for allegations. Exactly. Yeah. You know, um, seven years for conviction, which is yeah. insane. Okay, so you won't be watching it. So, I guess you don't really care who wins. Who wins? No, I mean I'll hear about it. Sure. Yeah, you should hear about it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I wish I wish the teams well. But, yeah, 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 for sure. Um, you know, no, I'm I'm not I'm not really fussed. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Anything else to add? No. No. All right, cheers, boys. I appreciate it. <laughs> Manchester is absolutely rammers today with the Christmas markets. They get much success around Dean's Gate, so I'm moving over to like Piccadilly Gardens in the Northern Quarter, trying to get a few more answers to my questions. First of all, are you excited about the World Cup no, at all? No, not at all. I think it's a disgrace. We shouldn't be there. Yep. Um, because based on sort of based on human rights, yep. the way the workers have been treated, yep. and died, yep. etc., etc. Yeah. It's so, as yeah. That. So, will you be watching it at all? No. No. Not unless I'm. Of course, you can't avoid it somewhere, but I would not yeah. be watching it. I okay. It's shameful. Yeah. All right, mate. Thanks, thanks okay. a lot. But yeah, just for your time. No. Okay, so first of all, are you excited about the World Cup at all? No. Not really. Um, is that because of any particular reason? Or? Yeah, I think they've got, like, blood on their Yeah, so LGBT rights, just... I think, like, everyone's bothered about the LGBT rights and the lack of fear, because um, it infringes on their own rights, but... No one seems to be too bothered. I'm not going to say no one. It just didn't seem to be an issue. That what, what is it? Thirty thousand. Yeah, they say between they six and a half to fifteen thousand. The, Qatar, the Qataris deny it. They say it's about forty. Yeah, well, my mum used to live in Goa when she left. Oh, she really? Saying, yeah, she's 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 seen everything. So yeah. Yeah, I'm not excited. About so you're gonna you're gonna boycott it? You won't be watching yeah. again. Yeah. Yeah. And, and do you think everyone should boycott it? Yeah, I mean, it's like I'll make sure that whatever I do doesn't involve spending any money that go towards it. Yeah. That's, that's how I'm going to Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Alright, thanks a lot. Okay, thank you. Have a nice day. And my worst fear come true, it's beginning to lash it down, which is pretty standard for the north, especially the northwest. Hopefully, I can get a few more, but we'll see, we'll see. Adam? Yes. Um, are you excited about the World Cup? The World Cup kicking off in Qatar tonight? Um, quite indifferent to it, to be honest. It's just the same as every other World Cup, and just watch the games that are, that are on. And... Okay, so you will be watching it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but do you have any thoughts about the World Cup, sort of like pertaining to human rights or LGBT rights? I mean, it's it's the World Cup. It's it's just um, every like if you look at like all the past few places, it's been, yeah. they've all been like not great. Like last one was in Russia. Exactly. Right yeah. after it was annexed. And, right after Crimea was annexed, and obviously yeah. people poisoned in Salisbury. Yeah, and then it's yeah, and it's like what are you it's like. That is how FIFA's doing their stuff, and then also like with Brazil before that as well. Yeah. That was all built, and like people are complaining right now about how this World Cup was built on the back of like slave labor. But like, yeah. if people think it's any different than Russia or Brazil. Mm -hmm. We both know what those countries are like. And if you go even further back to like South Africa, it's always the same thing. It's always like this FIFA trying to put on a big event, but it's nothing unique just to like the World Cup. It's also like you know sporting, like mm -hmm. major sporting events, like the same with like the London 2012 Olympics, for example. Yeah. So all of it is just it's just more of the same thing. So it's like. Just money, money dictating the way. Exactly, yeah. That's, Not, what it's, yeah. that's what it's mainly all about, and it's just about the money. Some people opposing say that sort of, if we show Qatar more of like a progressive way forward and, and show them sort of more of a Western way of life, quote unquote, they might bring them forward into the 20, 21st century. Do you have any comments about that? It's, end of the day, like, the only thing that's going to change all this stuff is just like, because the end of the day, it's, it's just about, it's all about just about capitalism. Yeah. And it's all about just like the people who own everything, it's running the economy, running it into the ground in yeah. 2008. And the only thing that's ever going to change any of this stuff is just, you know, workers having more rights. Yeah. Like if um, the workers actually had more of a say in like how they built the stuff or what was designed yeah. like that, then we wouldn't be in this situation. But it's not just about the World Cup, it's also about like other stuff. Like if we talk about here in the UK, stuff like the NHS and yeah. this whole country. It's just, essentially, we just need more workers' rights. It's not about left or right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not about. East versus West is just about working mm -hmm. against people who own stuff. So, so uh, do you think do you think some people are almost using Qatar World Cup to uh, maybe push it, their message against sort of like the, yeah, yeah, the yeah, Middle yeah. East and stuff, and they're using this yeah, as yeah. like an excuse? Yeah, people are just like again, it's like 
um, people who are left, slightly left leaning, um, they try to focus on like all these cultural kind of issues yeah. instead of actually focusing on the main thing, which yeah. is about workers' rights and workers' solidarity. And that's the thing that actually matters. That's the only thing that can make a difference. But it doesn't matter. Like, I'm not saying that like you know liberation issues don't matter. That's not what I'm saying at all. Yeah, yeah. But at the end of the day, it's like workers' rights and stuff that matters. Not yeah. this, not this like grandstanding of like oh who should be hosting the World Cup, who should be playing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not the stuff. You think that's just playing this guy, just that's, yeah. divide and conquer sort of thing. Exactly. It's more yeah. just about the workers' rights. Basically. Okay, well, thanks for the interview. Have you got a final message or who do you want to win or uh, anything like that? Just, you know what, just, just, get, just give it to Messi, give it to Argentina so that we can put Messi in a box and ship him away. And <laughs> that's what I'm saying, so. All right, yeah. mate, I appreciate it. I'm here with... Fabio. Fabio, are you excited about the World Cup? Uh, not that much, no. No, are you a football fan? I was before. Okay. Uh, not anymore. Why, why aren't you excited about the World Cup? Uh, I don't like the thing about Qatar and the fact that the f I don't think the sport business is something sustainable at all. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think like doing a competition uh, in Qatar with uh, air conditioning in, in stadiums and uh, all those people that died to build the stadium yeah. is really like outrageous. So yeah. I don't feel... Uh, I, I don't recognize myself in the values of the World Cup anymore on the FIFA. Yeah, um, I think that's a, sort of a sentiment echo with many people. Not many people have been excited about it. What, what would you do? Do you think you'll watch any any of the games at all? Yeah, I might some, watch some games like randomly, but I won't follow it yeah. as closely as I used to do before. Okay, so do you think people should, if they feel really strongly, should boycott it? People should do what they feel like doing. Like For me, it's not like a moral obligation, mm -hmm. but it's more to think that you feel to do or not. Yeah. For me, it's quite natural. Okay, and um, finally, who do you think will win the World Cup? Oh. Portugal, I hope. Portugal, you hope, not yeah. France. You don't want France to win. I want the World Cup for Ronaldo. Okay, that's fair enough. <laughs> okay, thanks for your time. All right, mate. Here with... Neve. Neve, hi, Neve. Um, are you excited about the World Cup? Um, I'm not really that into football, but I think it's good that, like, every country is represented. Yeah, it's a good time of the year. Sort of, like, people can get together and yeah. put the difference aside. Well, some people say it's hard to do with it being in Qatar. Obviously, you know, issues with workers' rights. I yeah. think between six and a half to 15,000 people died constructing the stadiums. Yeah. And, you know, stuff like if you're homosexuality, you can face a seven-year jail sentence. Have you got any thoughts about that? Like, um, I don't know, because I guess every country has the right to ha hold the World Cup. Yeah. But I don't know if it's the right time to hold it there yeah. right now. But... Um, I guess it's or the stadiums were built, so it must have kind of happened. Yeah, uh, some people say it's like a good way to sort of show the places like the Middle East and Qatar that you know yeah. it's um, we've got a different way of life and it's not a bad thing about yeah. it, and it can sort of drag them into the 21st century, quote yeah. unquote. What do you think about that? Yeah, no, yeah, I do agree. I agree with that, but yeah. <laughs> and do you think sometimes people are a bit hypocritical and maybe just? You know, people like Gary Lineker have been accused of virtue signaling and stuff like that. Like, it's, it's Qatar, that's what they do, we should just let them get on with it. Yeah, I don't, I don't know, because, I mean, there's issues of every country, yeah. really. So, no matter where it's held, there's going to be issues. Yeah. Um, I think, like, it's, there's more corrupt countries yeah. than um, Qatar, but, I don't know, I guess they wanted to hold it, and I guess they had the money to, yeah. which was, I think, a big factor when they held it. Okay. Um, we be watching any games? Um, okay, yeah, a few, just because it's more of like a social event yeah, for, sure. for like the youngsters. Like, we just go to the pub, watch it. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I might watch a few. Okay, uh, predictions for the winner? Um, not England. Not England? <laughs> no. Who do you think? Oh, I don't know. Brazil. Brazil. I'll just guess Brazil. Brazil's a good choice. Yeah. All right, thanks for your time, Neve. No worries. Christina. And Michelle. Have you got any... Well, hello, firstly. Hi, have you got... Uh, are you excited about the... Well, I'm excited, yeah. You are excited? I will be watching it. So you will be watching it? Yeah. Are you going to go and watch a game right now? Play? Guitar are playing right yeah, now? I'm watching it now because we're here for a concert. Okay. So. Okay. Um, next question. Have you got any reservations about the World Cup being sort of held in Qatar? Uh, I thought it was done in the wrong place. Yeah. Um, because, well, we have the weather <laughs> over there. We're not used to that weather. And... Yeah. Yeah, there's, there's too many rules, I think, okay. put in place, so I think it's the wrong country. It's been a bit what sort of message do you think it gives if you're given, like, the World Cup to a place where, you know, the estimated between six and a half to 15,000 workers' deaths constructing the stadiums and that sort of thing? Do you think we should be giving, uh, you know, such a, a global sport to, to Qatar and places like that? Um, yes and no, because I don't think um, you can't just give an impact in a country that's wealthy to be negative about it because of that reason. Yeah. But... You have to support everywhere you go anyway, no matter where the World Cup's going to be. Yeah. It's just going to be, obviously, the prices are going to be a bit more ridiculous and mm -hmm. like, the rules are going to be harsher. Yeah. So, Unfortunately, not every country is, is quite as up to date as, as they are. are. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think we should separate politics and sports separate? Yeah. 
yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Okay. Definitely to keep them separate, but it, it just depends. So, football like is I said, a sport, a gaming game for everybody to celebrate. So I don't think other rules and stuff should come into it. Yeah. Yeah. So, but it's a time for people to come together and unite, yeah, despite exactly. the differences it feels in really cultures. Like, unite a lot of people when the World Cup or Euros are around. Everybody celebrates, no matter whether they support football or not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly, yeah. 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 I think everyone's going to have a strong appearing win, lose, people on any have country. country. Some people have like a criticism that, you know, in 2018 the World Cup was in Russia, that yeah. had just annexed Crimea and, you know, poisoned two, uh, two people in Salisbury or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but. That was okay, and they sort of maybe an angle that we're just beating Qatar with because it's in the Middle East. Do you have any yeah. thoughts about that? Because everything that's going on in Russia yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah exactly, exactly. <laughs> yeah, but well, they can't. No, that's yeah. what I mean. There's something going on everywhere. Nowhere's going to be perfect. And mm. Everyone's got to have an opportunity to host it. Yeah, so. yeah that, that's fair. Um, and we can't expect a whole country to change their rules and stuff yeah. just for a football game. Yeah. But they need to be able to adapt for that yeah um, so okay so you will be watching it um, and yeah. who do you think will win not England not England I, I think we'll get far I don't think we have got the right team to win <laughs> um, but I potentially think like I think some of the underdog teams like Mexico or like you don't realise what different footballers are in that country like Hernandez and everyone like that so I genuinely think either Brazil mm -hmm. or I think an underdog team, like a lower team that you wouldn't expect. Yeah, I think Uruguay are going to do well. I don't know yeah, why. I just... Nunes, Nunes and, Valverde. Uh, Suarez. Yeah, Valverde yeah. as well. So, um, OK, final question. Who do you want to win the World Cup? England, England obviously. OK, all right. Thanks for your time. I no, really you're appreciate welcome. it. That's... I'm here with... Ben. Ben, are you excited about the World Cup? Yeah. Yeah? Do you think, um, you know, do you, no issues with Qatar being... Been hosting yeah. Qatar or anything like that? Stadiums, like people are dying, you know? Are we supporting? Argentina. Argentina, not England. Are you from Liverpool? Yeah. Yeah, Scouts, not English. Yeah. <laughs> right, okay. Um, so, you want Argentina to win. Who do you think will win? Argentina. Argentina. Is Messi going to be a player of the tournament? I'm not sure, but probably. Okay, nice one. That's that's cool. It seems like the later the day has gone on, the better the interviewers have got. People are a bit more relaxed. The um, chaos died down. Got this probably from a uh, charity shop for 199, which is keeping me nice and dry. Hopefully, just get a couple more and then I'll head off home. What's Mike, your name? Mike. Mike, hi, Mike. Uh, are you excited about the World Cup at all? Not really, no. Not really? No. Do you think you'll be watching it? A uh, little bit of it, yeah, maybe. A couple of England games, but that's about it. Yeah. Have you got any comments on sort of Qatar hosting it, if it should be allowed? Yeah, I don't think it should be allowed, to be honest with you. In terms of why do, why do you think it should be allowed? Uh, I think the human rights record, I think, I think the corruptness of the uh, of when they originally got the bid, yeah. it was all corrupt, wasn't it? And yeah. Backhanders, and it still is now, like with the alcohol thing. Yeah. Uh, stopping it right away. They've always planned that, and they shouldn't have got away with it. Yeah. yeah. Some, some people say that, like, you know, we give example to their World Cup in Russia, after they just annexed Crimea and sort of Salisbury poisonings, that maybe we're using, we're using Qatar, we're kind of using it to beat Qatar and their way of life a little bit. Yeah, yeah, I, I totally agree. I don't think the Russian ones should have gone ahead, to be honest. Yeah. But there again, I don't think America, I, I, I think we can't cast stones at Russians when we're like we are, are we? You know, British and the what? Americans, Libya, you've got Libya, you've got Afghanistan, you've got Iraq. Yeah. All, all the instability that's caused all over the world. Yeah, 100%. We can't really be... Uh, you know, judges can work. No, no. Okay, um, so you're going to be supporting England? Yeah, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, and who do you think will win the World Cup? I think it'll probably be France. Uh, maybe France or uh, Brazil. Yeah. I think they're the two, aren't they, really? All right, Mike. All right. Appreciate your time. You're welcome. Thank Have you. A great day, Paul. Yeah, Thank you too, mate. That just about wraps up today's filming. Um, there's not really that much excitement for the World Cup uh, in Manchester, which is quite surprising, seeing as it kicks off today. And England are playing tomorrow, but. That's how it is, I guess. I hope you enjoyed the content. I'd like to hear your thoughts about the World Cup in Qatar with regards to the sort of topics covered in the video. And if you did, please hit the thumbs up, subscribe and all that good stuff. Have a nice evening, weekend, weekday, whenever it is. You may be watching this. One love.